Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Recently, Google had an event where they unveiled several new devices, but specifically the new Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. Well, unveiled in the sense that they just affirmed what everybody seemed to already know from the rumors. I will admit, I, I still know very little about the Pixel 3 because I did not look into the rumors, but when I heard it was coming out, I was actually gonna go ahead and place an order for one, but I was trying to decide whether I wanted to order the Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL, and right as I was about to place the order for one or the other, I got an email from a company. As it turns out, they are a marketing company that's working with Google on hashtag Team Pixel. I kind of thought it was spam or a scam, but I did some research and it turns out it's, it's legit and they offered to send me out a Pixel 3. But what showed up in my mailbox was apparently not just a Pixel 3. It was, it was a box, a gift from Google, a hashtag gift from Google. They said that they were gonna send a box that was a gift from Google and, and, and that's the, the yeah. <laughs> this looks a little bigger than a phone, unless this year's Pixel is just that much bigger. But now I'm really, really curious because again, they did say they were gonna send a Pixel 3, but what, what else could be in, in all of that? So I guess without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the box and we'll see what's in here here. If the Pixel 3 is in here, which I hope it is, we'll open it up and take a quick look at it. This is not going to be a thorough hands-on review, anything like that. Just an initial what's in the mystery box that Google sent me. So without any further ado, let's open it up and take a look. All right, so I see a lot of packaging stuff in here. It looks an awful lot like a present. What is this? Well, it says Team Pixel and it has a band on it. Is this a fanny pack? Is this a Team Pixel fanny pack? It has a big pocket with some silica gel in it. It's got a top pocket. I have a Team Pixel fanny pack. That is pretty awesome. Next up in the box, I see a Google Pixel stand. You know, when I was looking at the Pixel 3 and I was adding it to the cart and thinking about it, I was pretty seriously considering the Pixel stand also because it's a wireless Qi charger for whatever devices have Qi. But specifically for the Pixel, yeah, it's a fast wireless charger. It also works with Google Assistant. So it adds some neat features, specifically things like if you have the Nest doorbell, you can use it with this so that when someone rings the doorbell and your phone's on the stand, it shows what's on the screen, what's on the doorbell. So that's kind of cool. Other than that, it's a Qi charging stand. So if you don't have the Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL, this is just gonna be a charging stand for you. We have a thank you card. The Meet Pixel 3 Team Pixel User Guide. Some introduction information about the Pixel, friends of the Pixel family, different accessories and whatnot you can use. Say hi to the hashtag Team Pixel family. There's a hashtag Team Pixel. Exciting news, Pixel 3 is here. It's designed to make every day more extraordinary. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Google My Case, custom case for the, presumably the Pixel 3 or XL, whichever one this happens to be. I haven't gotten there yet. If I remember correctly, the My Case, maybe this is, oh, that's pretty sweet. If I could just get it out of the case. Get the case out of the case. I know, the irony. There we go. So this says, Heather Day, Google Pixel 3, my case, if you can see that down here. And it looks like a two-layer case. It's got the buttons on it. It's got the silicone inside piece with a harder plastic shell. Fingerprint sensor button opening there. Pretty nice, pretty sweet. Great feel in the hand. Although a little bit slick, I'll say that. And then, unless I'm mistaken, this looks like, last thing, Oh, buddy. So I, I figured, they kept saying this was gonna be the Pixel 3, but this is the Pixel 3 XL. To go along with the iPhone XS Max and the Samsung Note 9 that I'm using every day, my pockets hurt. But I'm starting to like the larger devices. Having something, I've got the iPhone XS Max here with me, having something with a screen this big on it, it would be hard to go back to a smaller device now, I suppose. But on the box here, it says hashtag Team Pixel on the back. I'm gonna dig around a little bit in here and see if there's anything else in all this confetti before I move on. I see nothing else, so moving on. This box is a little large, go away with it for now. Now I am curious, those of you who do have the Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL, does it say hashtag Team Pixel on the back of your box or is that something that's unique to what I've got here? Because that would actually be a kind of cool addition to it also. And let's see, which one, oh. There we go. So there's the phone. And actually, it, it, it's large, but it doesn't feel overpoweringly large. Just side by side. Yeah, it's it's about the same size as the iPhone XS Max. We'll come back to that. This looks to be documentation and the SIM ejector tool. There you go. There's the ejector tool, all the paperwork, and got some Google, got a Google Team Pixel sticker in there. Hashtag Team Pixel. I'm guessing that this is not a unique special snowflake box like I was thinking, but either way, very cool. Got a little USB-C adapter in here, which if I can get it to focus there, it's five volts at three amps or nine volts at two amps. So it should take care of your fast charging needs. And then this looks like a pair of earbuds. All right. 
USB-C earbuds, and they do kind of, uh, they do kind of look like the Apple AirPods and AirPods and whatever else, but they've got a little hoop attached to them. Never had much luck with the Apple AirPods and EarPods because they don't want to stay in my ears, but maybe with this little hoop, eh, that, that might do pretty well, actually. Don't know if I'll actually use them, but still nice to have that as an option and include it in the package. There's also a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, Type-C to Type-A adapter, and a Type-C to 35 millimeter audio cable, just in case you're using the older style earphones or headphones or whatever else you happen to have. And of course, last but hopefully not least is the Pixel 3 XL itself. So let's take it out of its packaging. It's actually double wrapped. That's pretty cool. So it comes with a little screen protector on it that you peel off the first time you open everything, it's got like a three-sided protection thing going on. Very sleek, very slick. And just taking a quick look over at their website, this does come in three different colors. There's just black, clearly white, which is what I've got here, and then not pink. And taking a look around the rest of the phone, here in the back, again, if you can see that with the contrast, here is where the fingerprint reader is going to be located. It's got one rear-facing camera, nothing on this side of the phone, volume rocker and power button lime green kind of a mint green power button here on the side come in closer so you can see that color difference that's kind of a nifty little feature on the top it looks like it's just a microphone and on the bottom usb type c and your sim card slot and on the front even though you can't really see it you got a little bit of a notch there i, I don't mind the notch all that much I, i'm getting used to the fact that more new phones are having notches so to each their own i suppose I know there's a lot of people that hate it though, but going ahead and powering it up, Google, and you can even see from this, you've got decent sized notch there, kind of looks like the, a robot looking back at you and smiling, so can't complain about that. It does look like we have two front facing speakers. You have the, the earpiece and then another speaker down here. Again, I haven't done a whole lot of research on the phone, so hopefully you don't hold that against me. But from what I have read, it is the Snapdragon 845. It's got four gigs of RAM, a 6.3 inch display. And I do know that the Pixel 3 is slightly smaller, obviously. The rear facing camera is 12.2 megapixels. It does HDR plus, it does 4K, and it says it can have up to 128 gigs of storage. Although the one that I've got here, I just looked at the box, it says it's 64 gig. 64 gigs has been more than enough for me on most devices, but it looks like we're ready to get started. Connect to a mobile network. If you have a SIM, insert it now. We'll skip it for now. Get connected to my Wi-Fi. And really the big thing that I'm excited about with this is the Pixel phones are supposed to have some of the best cameras you can get on a smartphone. And the Pixel 3 is absolutely no exception to that. Pixel 2 blew everything else out of the water. Pixel 3 is supposed to be even better. The iPhone XS Max has been very impressive, but I have seen some side-by-side -side comparisons and the Pixel 3 looks really impressive. I do like the soft touch feel on the back of the device. I'm kind of curious how it's gonna be once I put this case on it, the, the live case. My case, my case. Okay, I'll just go ahead and put this in here while I'm at it. I'm not gonna copy any apps or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and case it up. There you go. That's not a bad feel in the hand at all. It is definitely a little bit slick. And I did not have the Pixel 2, so I, I don't remember if the Pixel 2 had wireless charging or not, but this is supposed to do wireless charging also. As I mentioned, works with the Pixel stand, so definitely looking forward to trying that out. Now we're at the part unlocks with Pixel fingerprint. We use a fingerprint to unlock it using this fingerprint sensor on the back. Really nice placement of the fingerprint sensor. And now we're touch the sensor on the back of the phone, use the index finger, lift and touch again. I do kind of like that in that it's giving me a little bit of a tactile feedback. I add another finger on the other side. There we go. That was actually really quick. Nowhere near as quick as the Note 9, but it's going to be really hard to beat that one. <laughs> Make Pixel uniquely yours. Change your wallpaper. We'll leave it all. We'll give a reminder later. Additional apps it's going to install. That's kind of convenient. I mean, you get the choice of whether you want all of the Google apps or not. I just went ahead and took the default. It's a very purpley, pinky wallpaper to each their own. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. From what I remember, I think I do have to do an update immediately after because this is technically a pre-production unit. I remember seeing that in the email. And honestly, I don't, I don't think I've touched Android Pie yet. So see if that's actually what's on here. And just checked. And yes, it does say it has Android version 9. So this is my first Android Pie experience. Let's see if we can do system updates, security patch. It says it's up to date. So guess that's not necessary. Oh, but that's different. That reminds me a lot of the way that the iPhone does things now, where you swipe back and forth across the home button. And I see some new fun things in here, but this is not a video about, oh, the notifications are coming in already. Anyway, this is not intended to be a video about Android Pie or about deep diving into the Pixel 3. This was just taking a look at what came in this kind of ridiculously large box. All in all, I'm 
very thoroughly pleased to have been reached out to by a marketing team working with Google. So thanks so much to you guys for reaching out. Definitely looking forward to spending more time with this. If you want to see more about the Pixel 3 XL, let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to see anything about the Pixel Stand, let me know there also. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already so you get notified when new videos become available. Got a lot of phone stuff coming up. I got a lot of other stuff coming up. You, you can't really see all the rest of this room or the next. It's going to get kind of crazy when I get time to make videos. So we'll see you again very soon.